All right, let's do this. What kind of start? Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Hear me out. Here's what I'm gonna do. I think we're gonna pick up the war's tusk. Let's get the whetstone. I think I'm gonna do a risky roll here because I want a bow and arrow. Got the bow and arrow. Nice. I will take this. And we can honestly just roll with this. Honestly, I think I pick up the spear as well. Just replace it with the sword just for higher DPS. I think that would be phenomenal. And yeah. I think that would be really, really good for us. I'm going to be I'm gonna be shooting for something dumb. Okay. We're shooting for three bow and arrows. <laughs> Hear me out. Maybe two, maybe three. But hopefully it'll work. I'm going to get the spear roll. Space piggy bank. Another whetstone is interesting. I could go ahead and pick that up or I can pick up the pig for more money next round, which might help me out a little bit more than the whetstone. I don't know. Whetstone is like guaranteed win, right? Or pig is like better money economy. You know what I mean? Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick the pig. We'll go with this, but I do want to get that whetstone. So we're definitely going to pick that up. Now, let's see if we actually lose this. Going against a sh uh, armor, which is really good for us since we have the spear. We're going to mow through that, do a bunch of... See, we didn't even need the whetstone. We didn't even need the whetstone, which is great. All right, let's pick you up. Let's pick up the whetstone, and we will also get the banana. Because we're going to need the stamina with all of those uh, bone arrows that we want to get. I was hoping to get a shield for a spike shield, but it might be too late for a spike shield. Honestly. Potentially might be too late for a spike shield. Hammer on sale. If I would have gotten you like some rounds earlier, that'd be nice. I'm gonna get the blueberry. Um, do I want anything here? Bow and arrow, yes. Anything else? I don't think so. I'm just gonna pick up the bow and arrow. Can I get space? Nice, got the space. Beautiful. I would love some clovers. That would be phenomenal right about now, but we're at a 1.5 stamina usage. So I gotta get me some more, um, gotta get me some more bananas. Cause that would be amazing i could also get the box of riches for the yellow jewels which will also be amazing and just to build up my jewel slots because that's something that i'm going to want to do do i beat this person yes we do 100 percent 100 percent we're on a roll right now we're on a roll probably gonna lose this next one though because that box of riches is a pretty solid investment and i'm also gonna get the fanny pack just to go a little bit faster got this on sale the thing is we're lacking on space for the shield but i mean it'll free up two slots since we have the walrus tusk here so by default we're going to be freeing up two slots which might not be all too horrible honestly we're going to move that up i don't want the tuscan poker that's another thing i could have gotten is the tuscan tuscan poker which honestly might not have been a bad play what we're going to do here actually i'm just going to move these over that way this is inside of the uh, ranger bag and it's getting the increase in dps which is good don't want the tuscan poker um so yeah i mean it's on sale it is kind of still kind of early and i got both of the items on sale so it wouldn't be that bad of an investment yeah we're gonna lose this one 100 wouldn't be that bad of an investment but i need the space I, I don't think i'm gonna get it i don't think i'm gonna get it. i think we're just gonna get this space regular ruby don't really need let's get this space got another pig roll damn I really was hoping for a clover there got the hungry blade though which is something i definitely want so we're probably gonna be replacing the spear with the hungry blade even though it does less dps um because we didn't get any regeneration because that's something that i forgot to get i forgot to get the regeneration but hopefully we'll still be fine i'm gonna replace you just for more star slots just in case i don't know we might go against somebody that's rocking a, a big fat armor i don't know we'll do that that and i guess we could just do that for a stamina 1.5 i mean we do got double blueberries situation going on here so maybe it's not all too horrible but i don't know you know i guess Never freaking know. So yeah, we'll roll with that. We definitely need more space. And there's another bone arrow. My max was three bone arrows. I honestly wonder if it would be worth to just rock the bone arrows and no spear. I don't know. Could be worth though. Could be. Potentially. Do we win this one? I think so. Yeah, our stamina and our DPS are looking pretty nice. So hopefully when we get that extra bone arrow, we'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's sell you. Get you. Get you. And we'll get you. All right. So let's see here. We can do... You go there, you go there, you go there, and that goes there, and that goes there. I think that'd be good. Stamina is at 1.8. I'm gonna get this other banana just in case I'm gonna need it. Because we potentially might need it. Probably gonna lose this one because. Oh no! 
well we probably will still lose this one but they could have done way better <laughs> They could have done way better. That's fine, though, because now we have the Groove Keeper on set, which is amazing. Get you, get you. Let's get you. We're at 10 gold. Give me space. Ah, let's go. Got my space. That is phenomenal. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Oops, not that. Do that. That goes there. This goes there. Um, Let's go ahead and upgrade the Fortuna's Hope. Groove Keeper can go there. Honestly, we might even have enough money to just get this mana orb situation here. Which might not be a bad play. Yeah, let's sell you. Get the orb. Um, orb can honestly just go right there. Just to affect all of the weapons like that. Um, and... Do I have space for the banana? Nah, we're going to keep that banana out for now. And I'm just going to do this like that i think that'll be a little bit better eventually i want the holy armor but we're not there yet Let's see what we do against the spike shield in a sun shield stamina is going to be horrid blueberries not blueberries but bananas are probably going to be out of their league honestly more than likely unfortunately i think he's got this guy removing two buffs from me oh man this game is over this game is freaking over that's fine though we got we got life we got l's to spare okay Definitely. Oh my god. I need that. Let's get you. Roll. What are we looking at right now? I say we roll again. Damn. Come on. All right. Another mana orb. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's get this mana orb situation. Um, and we definitely should probably put the banana on for more stamina because we're at 1.6. Um, I'm going to reserve this space right there. Uh, we did get the other clovers, so what I'm thinking is I definitely want to upgrade one of the bows and arrows. I just don't know how to rearrange the situation we have going on. Unless I can just, I mean, I can sell you. I'm going to just sell one of the Westlands just to get this space. Just to get this space. There's probably a better solution there other than just getting rid of the space, but I think we'll be fine. Hopefully I can find another holy armor too, because I definitely need that. All right, let's see how we do now. The plan, honestly, the plan is to be able to proc the Mega Clover super early um, with utilizing Fortuna's Hopes to generate the 50% uh, chance of gaining Clovers. So that's the plan. And blueberries as well. Can't forget about the blueberries, but uh, we need like five more blueberries for that. Um, we managed to actually proc the orb before we proc the clover, which is insane. And then we proc the clover at the end there. That is insane. Good game, though. I definitely want to buy that because that's going to be even more mana generation. So what can we do here? We're missing two. We could sell this one and we can just sell the dirt to get this. That works for me. And let's go ahead and just do a little situation. Honestly, we could do that just to upgrade that one into a Fortuna's Hope as well. Um, and that's looking pretty solid, in my opinion. I would love some blueberries, though. Oh, if that was an Excalibur, I'd be scared. But it's just a regular pan, so things might be looking up in the world, considering it's literally just a regular pan. And or proc. There we go. That should help us out with our Clover proc soon. There we go. And that's game. Got 13 vampirism right there. It's insane. That's game. You are looking juicy. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, my friend. You are looking mighty, mighty juicy. But I need a form of heat generation for you. You're on sale, so I will purchase you. However, do not expect to be used yet. Because I do need a form of heat generation for you. And the only way to do that is more than likely to utilize um the rabbit, which I'm not super keen on buying but i might as well considering i just seen it um i'm gonna purchase that as well we can honestly sell you for a roll got space that's not horrible um let's see where are we putting this rabbit you are a food item or not rabbit but gingerbread jerry you are a food item so truthfully i'm just gonna put you right up there and that'll work um we're gonna put you there i don't need the poison at all but i'll just put it wherever and yeah, I was looking good. Got another mana orb, so our mana generation should be phenomenal. We should be able to proc really, really fast. But this guy is a super hammer build. He's already got three pigs. 
in four daggers this early which is freaking insane so he's probably going to be able to just kill us extremely fast before we even get a chance to really build up our build unless we can get a lucky proc here on the orb which we did but still not enough uh it seems because this damage is just insane as all hammer builds damage is insane you know what i mean yeah good game though good game that's fine what do we have 15 let's honestly i'm gonna buy this and i'll buy this um it's time to sell you i don't want you anymore that i need i'm gonna tilt this maybe i might tilt it <laughs> i think i'm not gonna tilt it uh, honestly you know what let's just do that um because that's no because that needs the proccing right there damn all right so we'll just do this yeah that works proccing is good um we could put the rabbit over here and honestly bro since the rabbit is so slow i'm just gonna put it in two slots because there's nothing here that makes it faster so putting it inside of two fanny packs is probably my best bet and then we could just put jerry there a little jerry sitch situation um and let's just move this over so i can do that that's looking solid and then the other banana can just go there um we could do this in order to get an upgrade on you two poison resist don't really care about so i'm just gonna buy you put you in there whoa look at that acorn collar i do like an acorn collar but we get so much clover that now nah, I'm, I'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna sell both of those off. but yeah i will get this acorn collar i will Ooh, a poison build let's see how we do now but we do got jerry on our side which is a w as long as we can just get the heat from the rabbit which more than likely we're going to get the heat from the rabbit um or even just the orb proc we'll probably get some heat as well there we go jerry procs give us a little bit more regeneration so far it looks like it's not in our favor i was gonna say it's tied but it's not looking very tied right now honestly damn a 60 critical is nuts holy crap okay okay gotta make a comeback here let's buy you let's roll another orb it's on sale bro i gotta get the orb got a shield on sale i'm gonna be honest i'm not a super fan of shields not a super fan of shields but i might just cop this one because it's on sale and i'm feeling a little desperate so let's see here let's see here um i don't even have space to put it anywhere honestly i'd have to sacrifice some food or something i think i'm gonna pass on it i think i'm gonna pass on it because i really want i really want this this is what i really want and now that i see it i'm a little bit more lenient on spending some money to get it at seven i need three I could sell the chip toe passes and sell the amethyst the only question is where the heck is it going to go more than likely i'd have to sacrifice a banana probably do something like this and put it right there i think that's what i would have to do sucks that i have to get rid of these jewels or, or i could just sell this banana yeah let's sell the banana and sell you we'll put you right there um i think that would be good more than likely i would also like to get a moon armor I have to move this down by one that actually works yeah let's move that down by one get the moon armor and i think that would be good looking at a double axe with a freaking perfect sapphire on it rip our armor that's not gonna matter hopefully we can get some lucky procs though because that's really what we're betting on is lucky procs i wish i had a gym lamp a gym lamp would make this way better got our first proc now he's in berserker mode though come on i don't know we're looking up high key this is looking good for us actually another proc still no still no clover proc though which is unfortunate we definitely need we went we need blueberries speaking of blueberries which is beautiful so we got the blueberry let's get some space nice a little bit better space than that would be nice though 
Blood amulet on sale. I don't really see myself getting any blood items, so I'm gonna pass on that. Let's get you. Definitely gonna need you. All right, that was not a bad round, honestly. I'm gonna put the blueberry over there just so it can feed its food. Um, honestly, our mana generation is straight. What I can do now is get more armor from this mana generation that we have already by doing a little bit something like this. What is that? That's three, six, seven, eight, which would be enough for a gin proc if we had a gin to proc, which we don't, unfortunately. So that's probably going to be our next big purchase is just trying to get a gin proc. Um, and yeah, should I combine this? You know, I'll, I'll combine it. I don't mind. We're going to get more jewels anyway, so I don't mind combining. Another poison build. We lost to the last poison build. Hopefully this will be different. Hopefully. We got a new blueberry. You know what I mean? We got moon armor now. We're getting armor from the our mana generation, which is pretty fucking amazing right now. So our survivability is better. We're going to get that clover proc. We're almost at 20. Boom. Massive clover proc. Absolutely beautiful. I think a mana ore proc at the same time too with that mana threshold, which is great. Might even be able to get a second mana proc or mana ore proc, but the game's probably going to be over by then. Oh, we actually did get it, but the game was over. That was amazing. How much armor do you give? Four. Okay. It's not horrible. Jin, which is awesome. Um, let's see, we're looking at four, five, six. I'm just going to put this over here there for seven. So it's going to be like a guaranteed seven situation. Um, and let's put the or, or the um, the gin lamp right there. I don't think that'd be horrible. We got four gold left. Let's roll here for space. Amazing space, actually, because I need those to go in. We're still at a 1.6. Um, I mean, we're getting stamina from the Whopper Tinger, so I don't even think we need these yellow jewels anymore. So I'm just going to sell it. And I could have put it on a weapon slot. Honestly, that was would have been probably the better play, but we'll be fine. I think the build is fine now going against a Pyromancer Excalibur. Only shitty thing is he's got these guys removing spikes from us. So as far as that gin proc goes, it might never actually happen because we're going to be lacking a lot on spikes. Um, maybe we can just proc a bunch of times in order to get the, the spikes that we need. Potentially. Nah, there's no way we got four, but oh, we might get seven. Wait, did we, did we proc? We actually did proc. I guess we got a lot more spikes than I thought we did with the clover, or I just saw it and it just instantly disappeared, but we did get a proc there, which is amazing. I will take that. Another orb. Let's get space. Honestly, I don't even mind. I don't mind getting another orb realistically. I will take the other orb and I'll put... Actually, I was going to do something like this for that other proccing, but that's got to be like right there, so... We'll just do this. That works for me. Hit those down, sell you, put you down. Um, don't really want anything there or there Space I guess I could put you right here Well something like that and then move you down so you can still be inside of two fanny packs, which isn't horrible um, Got another blueberry Which I honestly don't mind Getting another blueberry especially when it's on sale like that. So I'll take that we can get a combination here and I'll just buy that one next round That kind of just works for me yeah, that's looking good. That is looking good. Going against the oh, the overpowered ranger build. If I beat you, that's saying something. Because this is like the meta ranger build right here. Double Fortuna's Grace on double Moonshield. Stamina usage for us is gonna be absolutely horrible, but we already got a gin lock or a gin pro 126 critical. It's over for you, bro. It's over for you. Absolutely. That did not last at all that didn't last long at all 70 to 72 damage proccing 140 uh 140 crit damage insane absolutely insane got that combo we can put you there we're looking at four five six seven eight or four five six seven eight nine i guess we could just keep on stacking up um these guys just to get more armor you know what i mean um, I'll pick you up for more space. I would like more armor slots, realistically. I would kind of like the helmet. I could get these leather boots, but I don't really care about leather boots, honestly. Let's put that one right there. Um, wow. What can I use you for? 
I'd say inside the moon armor, honestly, just to get that stun res uh, that stun resist and then the chance of being critical. Just to get that resistance, because realistically, this is four, five, six, seven. And you only need seven armor anyways, right? So, I mean, I could just take this off and do a little something like that. You know what I mean? And then these can just generate more mana, I suppose. Like, that works. You know what I mean? That works. That works. That works. Whoa, I've never seen a build like this before. Pause. We're looking at a Falcon Blade stun build. You got brass knuckles with a bunch of daggers stunning. And then you also got double claws of attack. I have never seen a build like this. He's got double stone armor, which is a, what is that? Like a 40% stamina usage increase. 40% stamina usage increase. Like, I mean, his stamina usage isn't high. Well, I mean, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.4. There's that. Please, he got double stone scan potions or double uh, heroic potions. Very interesting build I've never actually seen before. I wonder how viable it is. He does have three bloody daggers. And we have no decrease in uh in healing so he's definitely gonna be healing a lot man look at that armor it doesn't really matter to our sword though right <laughs> doesn't matter to our sword even with the army he had at the start of the game we still dealt like a bunch of damage with our bows and arrows 500 damage from that and a couple of hundred damage from the fortuna's hope which pretty much shredded his armor but 500 damage is insane Man, this is a nasty build. Um, a digital... It's on sale. I don't really have anything else to spend my money on. <laughs> well, you have nothing to spend money on. You just spend it on dumb things, I swear. I'll buy it, though. Um, I don't even know if I can fit a clover anywhere. I'm gonna just move that there. Oh, and that's another magic item for more armor. So that works out perfectly, actually. Um... Do I even need the blueberries anymore? I was really realistically using them to get the clover to proc in the early game. But we can instantly get the clover to proc now. Just from the amount of clovers that we have on the field already. So realistically, I don't even know if it's worth having that item or not. Should I give me another? I could give me another orb. Put it like there. <laughs> That is so many orbs. Oh my gosh. Okay, what are we looking at? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we're at 17. Um, this will be 18 and 19. So we're not going to get the 20, unfortunately, at the start of the game, at least. Unless we can just buy a clover here. Wow. We actually got lucky and was able to buy a clover, um, which means we're probably just going to sell a blueberry. Or, yeah, let's just sell a blueberry. Okay, so now we're looking at 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's very possible for us to insta proc the clover. However, no, we should insta proc the clover because I was going to say the Dijon Lent might use up the clovers anyways, but they shouldn't because we're not going to have the spikes um, at the start of the game until this clover proc. So it's perfect. So we should insta proc this Dijon Lent. On the other side, we are going against a pretty nasty da uh, uh, hammer build. That's a 45% life still on damage, right? We have no uh, we have no mana or no healing reduction, like with the jewels or whatnot. He has a lot of healing reduction, which is gonna suck for our life still here. Look at that, Jesus Christ! He's got five bloody daggers, which is insane, and he's got a shield as well. We'll see what happens in this build. If we can actually uh, come out on top here, but we did get our insta proc. Did we get our insta proc? No, we actually didn't. We need a little bit more spikes, but we're about to get it. We're about to get it, which is fine. One more spikes. One more. There we go. There we go. Got our insta proc. There we go. I was about to say, there is, there's the proc. There it is. I think we out kill. That's what I was looking at. Unless he could just heal a bunch, which he is definitely healing a bunch. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough. <laughs> it wasn't enough. What a build. Jeez. All we needed was better spike generation. This thing could proc like a bunch, but I'm not going to spend money on getting spiked. So that's the thing. <laughs> but yeah, this was pretty. This is a pretty nasty build, if I'm being honest. A pretty freaking nasty build, especially with the empowerment and the Fortuna's hopes. Even those things are critting 97%, 97, 97. Even those things are critting for like 20, 30 damage per. And then you got the big boy damage doing like 80 damage right there, which is pretty freaking insane. Damage dealt 442, and then these did 100. That one did 72. 
And look at the healing. That's a lot of healing. That is a lot of healing. Damage dealt. Not that much damage dealt. Honestly. But they did do a lot of healing. What about our healing? We didn't heal at all. I guess we never needed to. Didn't get our only force of healing is mana thirst. With our vampirism and everything. But still. This is a pretty nasty build. That was a good game though. That was a pretty good game. I like this build. I like it a lot.